Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Brick Time. Today's set is the Heart Lake City Community Centre. Check out the whopper of a box this comes in. It is huge. It does not fit on my desk. So I'm going to have to put it on the side so we can take a look at this. And look at that. We get six mini dolls. And it looks like Stephanie has made an appearance. Loving that tree. All of the colours in this looks fantastic. Like I said before, the graphics on the box is great. And we're going to take a look at what we get here. Looks like a little veggie greenhouse garden. Every level is a rainbow colour. Loving the look of that. And if you've got the community kitchen, you put it all together. So I cannot wait to rip open this box this is an expensive set at 250 dollars and oh look at that it's all bunched up all together all my bricks did it really need to come in a big box like that i oh, don't know oh, it makes it look more impressive so we get oh a blue bag of parts then this multi-colored bag how many bags have oh i love the coral and the light nougat color there so how many bags i think it's 11 bags all up 1513 pieces so there's heaps here and we've got a bag here with oh looks like it is a printed piece that's cool. This is Leanne's artwork that she's doing on the side of the building. Love that it's printed. That's so cool. I love that tile. Then we get another bag here of base plates to build up the community center. And whoa, this is heavy. So instruction booklets and mine's a bit damaged. Hopefully my stickers are intact inside. Let's shred this open. I can't stand that. Anyway, uh, yep, nothing inside and it wants to talk to me. No, it doesn't. How many instruction booklets do we have? I think this is number three. So great instructions as always. Ooh, a lot of friend sets at the back. A lot of happiness there. I like that. What about, oh, the sticker sheet. Actually, there's not that many, surprisingly, to the size of the set. Looks like Stephanie's there and is that Sonic game? I think it might be a Sonic video game. That's so cool. And we get another Heroica game. It's like a game board, I guess. So four instructions. There's the list of all the parts and it tells you a little bit about the community center and how you can pull it all apart and do different things with it. I cannot wait to build this set. It's been sitting in the box since June, so I'm super excited. Alrighty, let's build. Before we begin, I forgot to show you the map. I have an obsession with these maps from the Friends sets. So it just shows you where the community center is positioned in Heart Lake City and where all the friends live. Up first is Mayor Stephanie. Now I am loving this pants suit combo she is wearing. Very nice printing on her. She's got her little star necklace that she used to always wear. I love the look of her. And we have Nova. I think I've seen those shorts before somewhere. But I love that UFO top that she has. She is a full-on gamer and she wears some pretty cool clothes, I think. Paisley's up. Love her outfit as always. Love that blouse that she has with the little belted bit at the back. I think that's from the pancake store as well. We've seen that outfit. Pop her cool hairdo on. And Ollie. He is one cool dude. I love his look. This top, I think him and Leanne have designed it and they're making it, like they're um, sewing it at the community centre. So here's Leanne. So she's got little 
red dots there for her socks but her printing's not good on her shoes I'm a little bit disappointed there but she's got the same matching top just different sleeves there from Ollie love that Pickles made an appearance he looks a little bit worried still we're gonna pop him over there and we have Zach so he's wearing his white cargo style board shorts sleeveless top it looks like a gamers top I'm loving the look of him So this is like a corner build and I'm loving the brown paving cobblestones they've included. We've got some steps here and a ramp going up for all access. Pop some pins in because we can connect this with another build. So this is part of the first floor done. Love the different shades of blue they have used and the teal awnings above the windows. I think it's gonna look really nice. So first floor's done, we've got a little stage there that you can pop your mini doll and spin her around. We've got the piano and guitar here. Paisley's gonna spin around for us to demonstrate how it works. So let's pop this in here and it's secured nicely. I love the side of the building as well with the white accents. We've got a little park bench here and Nova's come along and she's painting with an invisible paint pot and pickles gone. <laughs> Level two, we see the different shades of color again. So this time it's green, I love it. And the window technique they have used on this level is great also. I think this room's the recording room and streaming room where Ollie loves to be and he's going to be interviewing Stephanie later on. So we've got like a little makeup area there and check out these chairs. Great technique here with these like little bucket spinny chairs. We get a little coffee table with some teacups. There is the phone to do some recording. We're going to have a lamp there for extra light. And there's the computer to do all the editing on. Another great detailed room in the green room. So let's pop it on top of the blue one. And oh, that's looking nice already. I'm loving this set so far. The third level, now this level is the fun gaming area. So we've got like a little board game there and a swimming pool, okay.
Oh, I don't know about these double doors leading into a swimming pool area. That's a bit uh, dangerous there, I think. <laughs> uh, we've got a huge TV here to play some games because this is the gaming area. I'm going to pop Zach over here. And should I test out this slide that leads into this weird pool? Yes, it's a bit dangerous, I'm feeling. Okay, let's pop it up on top. It does look nice though. I actually really like the colour palette of this level with the light nougat, dark pinks and the coral colours. They blend together well. I do really like that each level has a different style of window, so different build techniques. So this level is where you do all your painting and creative design. So there's a t-shirt there. And check out this sewing machine. So mine works okay. You can't really see it going up and down. You can't do it when you pop the little t-shirt there. But I, I think that's such a cool design of that sewing machine. Great little area. Let's see what it looks like on top here. And ho oh, ho, the Tower of Rainbows. This is the rooftop area where we're going to have a veggie garden and a water barrel. And this nifty contraption is the scaffolding which Leanne will be standing on to be painting that big mural on the side of the building. Here's the little greenhouse veggie patch. That's looking really cute. I wonder if they use these vegetables in the community kitchen. So let's pop it on top and I'm liking this so far. Look at this. Here's the scaffolding with Leanne on it. So I'll just attach all that and we can slide it across while she paints. Alrighty, we're on to the final bag. So we've got our little water tank tower there on top. I forgot to pop the little toothpiece on there for decoration. Loving this lamppost. There's got quite a good build technique with that. This tree is amazing with a little tire swing there at the front. Love that the tree's got different coloured leaves. Here's the ribbon for the cutting ceremony. Stephanie's gonna open up this new community center and here's that community kitchen so we've got it in purple and you can place it on this side if you like or it could click in on this side as well so it's quite versatile i think they've done a great job with this so now i'm gonna do some reno work we're gonna pop the community center on top here and try and not knock everything over. Churro's taken a tumble there. So I've got to adjust my camera. This set is huge. It's so tall. I love that we get a skyscraper type building for our city now. And this area here will be the little eating area by the kitchen. And I am dropping everyone.
I really like this scaffolding feature up here and Leanne's doing that big mural and we're going to test out this slide because I'm not sure about this slide. <laughs> See Stephanie took a tumble, she's trying to go inside with her wet feet, she's probably going to slip over, she's not pickle out. Ollie's gone down now. Now I think this should have been more of a ball pit rather than a swimming pool. So Nova's gone in. So you can only really do this one at a time. And poor Ollie. Oh dear. He is not looking good. Don't worry. No mini dolls were hurt in this video. Rest assured. Yeah, I, I feel this should have been a ball pit rather than an actual swimming pool. It's a bit of a safety hazard there. The Lego Friends Heart Lake City Community Centre. As soon as I saw this set, I knew I had to have it. I love it. I love that it's a giant rainbow. I love the level of detail in each floor. This is the beauty about Friends sets. They're always jam-packed with details. The building techniques in this are great. So the designer was one of the ones that created elves or design sets for elves so you can really see that in some of the build techniques i love this set i highly recommend it and i want to get another two more so everyone get your bricks out